Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we are taking a look at some very bad things in base building, things you do not want to do, um, because not all bases that are easily three-starred are created equal. Some are just good attacks, you know, hats off to the attacker, they had a good plan, um, very creative, not much you can do sometimes, but sometimes a base is just asking to get hit a certain way. And that's what we're focusing on today. Bases, um, certain aspects of bases that you want to avoid because they're just asking to get three starred a certain way. Focusing on Town Hall 12, Town Hall 11, and Town Hall 10 today. Um, this first one is a Town Hall 12 attack we're looking at. And at the very beginning, there was some decent electron value. That's that suicide battle plimp with an electro dragon that you double clone. Um, but that's not even the biggest sin of this base. You do not want that Town Hall within Archer Queen range from the outside, especially that close to the wall. I mean, if it was farther back, it still would have been in Queen range from the outside, but at least it might have been protected. But this was a very exposed Town Hall, and that is one of the biggest things you want to avoid is having the Town Hall being able to be taken out by Sui heroes. Because what that does at Town Hall 12 is it opens up the Grand Warden's ability in a La Luna attack especially to be used on troops other than, uh, or used on troops that are not going over the Town Hall, rather be used on these very high value areas. Like right here, um, I believe the Warden's going to be used in just a moment, and there's much better value. There's Wizard Tower, Inferno, Expo, Air Defense. All are not able to do damage for you know four or five seconds here, which is a huge difference. And this base might have been crushed anyway, but it's crushed even more because of this. Um, so that's the thing. The warden's ability, when they have to use it over the town hall to protect you know a group of balloons taking out the town hall, or protect a kill squad taking out the town hall, so the um, Giga Tesla blowing up at the end as the town hall is destroyed doesn't kill everything. Um, forcing the Warden over there is better because you can make sure that area doesn't have a whole lot of other value. If you don't have Inferno Towers near there, um, other stuff like that, you're forcing a Warden to only protect, basically, against that Town Hall. Whereas if you allow the Town Hall to be taken out so easily by the Sui heroes not having to use the Warden there, then what are you doing? Well, basically, you're um, allowing the Warden to be used at a much more high-value location, such as over Inferno Towers, Air Defenses... CC troops, you know, whatever. So that's a big thing. Protect your town hall at town hall 12. Doesn't have to be in the middle of the base, just don't make it snipeable by the queen from the outside. Um, this next one is a big town hall 11 sin. We do not want to see this. Um, too much electron value. We saw a little bit in that last attack. It was kind of borderline, but if you're giving up the Inferno Tower, Queen, CC, um, Wizard Tower, like this is just ridiculous. And one thing to keep in mind, at, at this stage of the game, you should always have like one Seeking Air Mine to kill that Battle Blimp because you know where they're going to use it. I mean, if I built this base, I would think, okay, well, they're gonna, the first thing an attacker is going to do is try to use a Battle Blimp straight up here. And you can see he uses one balloon to try to soak it up if it's there. So keep that in mind too. If it's too close to the outside, a balloon can take it and it'll protect the Battle Blimp. Um, in this case, there wasn't even a Seeking Air Mine, which is even worse. Um, so it goes ahead and uh, double clones these dragons, and then basically this look what drops here. I'm not sure if he actually gets the eagle, but it doesn't really even matter. Two wizard towers, queen CC, uh, I think it might be like a hound CC anyway, I don't think anything came out. Uh, and Which is something you t want to try to avoid as well if, um, if you suspect your base is going to get hit by air troops. But just too much value, all these defenses gone for just the battle blimp and the spells he used. And then um, a very nice play here on the heroes, kind of setting them in with this golem here, going to get, I think, two air defenses, um, good funnel. This just a, It was a good attack, I will say that. Um, it wasn't like this base did all the heavy lifting. The attacker did some as well, but uh, it, it was giving up too much there. And Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, that should be one of the first things you think of as you're putting down your Seeking Air Mines. Ask yourself, where are they going to send in that Sui Battle Blimp for the Electron attack? And that's a good place to put one or two Seeking Air Mines, not on the other side of the base. So, 
Anyway, the Lalo is, I mean, not the friendliest. There is a, um, this is actually interesting. The Tornado Trap starts pulling the Skellies around in weird ways. I'm not even sure why he had a Skelly spell, because the Queen was already dead, but who knows. Um, the Lalo is just a little bit too easy here. Um, I think, yeah, heal spells down and then sends in some more reinforcement balloons. Things slow down a little bit here just because he's so short on spells since there was the double clone. Uh, but the balloons will make their way through here and take out the air defense and then they'll split, take out the archer tower. So this one, you know, was I've seen worse. I've seen worse for sure in terms of value from the electron attack. At least the eagle survived. That was, that was nice. But something you want to be able to test because it's very easy to test. Um, in friendly challenges and something you want to avoid from happening um, All right number eight And this is not to no disrespect to Clash United um, you can take any clan and start going through some of their bases and and um, And point out these these things you can do it to our bases as well, so um, They did have a lot of good bases and it, I think it was a very close war I think we I don't even know if we won or lost the war like just ended um, it's just one of these midweek wars, getting some practice and whatnot. Um, this one, I will say, is not as bad as the others, but it is um, it is a sin of Town Hall 11 base building. And that is basically just making the Town Hall opposite one of the Infernos, making the pathing a little too nice for a... I'm going to pause it for a moment for a Witch Bowler attack. And... First of all, uh, it's a little concerning. There's not much splash on the outside. There's just, you know, wizard towers kind of tucked in a little bit, um, which opens up for witches along the outside. Although he does have a giant bomb or two, which, you know, redeems it a little bit. But you have, in terms of pathing, um, coming from this side, the wall record goes through Inferno Tower into the Eagle compartment in the core. So you're getting the Inferno, the Eagle. And yes, the wall record will go off this way, but a jump spell easily connects that back end. So that's another thing you always want to look at your base through this perspective of can they just straight up hit it with a witch bowler attack and in this case the answer uh, unfortunately for them is yes and uh, the free spell gets great value a jump king's basically right on top there of the inferno with the, some bowlers backing him up and uh, the wall wrecker surprisingly continues to push and then these bowlers hop out and uh, get some more value so uh, oftentimes one side makes it better than the other in this case it's the bottom side and they'll wrap around at the end here so another thing you want to uh, you'll notice one of the common themes with this is it's a lot of like spammy attacks that tend to be um, the ones we're seeing beat these bases because it doesn't take a lot of customization for the base it doesn't take a lot of planning and that's what you want to avoid you want to force them to be unique, to try something they're not, they're not as comfortable with as an attacker. Um, all right, number 13, switching gears and Town Hall 10s. It's funny, we just did one Town Hall 12, and I, the only thing I want to say, if you're a Town Hall 12, keep your Town Hall at least somewhat protected. Um, if you do that, uh, you're, you're ha that's half the battle. Well, it's not half the battle. There's a lot of Town Hall 12 base building, but if there's one thing you remember for Town Hall 12 base building, don't make that Town Hall a freebie like you do at Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 11. Uh, see it way too much. Uh, this next one is, you know, I, I won't, I'll applaud the effort of trying to have like a very uh, unique base with both these heroes on the outside. We don't see it that much, but the main problem, and I'm going to actually have to restart this attack because I kind of missed my cue here. The main problem with this base is not that both heroes are very offset, um, but that the buildings that are being given up, wizard towers, expos, um, this uh, bomb tower, they're, they're important for a hog attack. You don't want to give up these high HP buildings. That's often underrated at Town Hall 10 um, or any Town Hall level, on a, especially on a hog attack. The HP is what often makes it hard for the hogs. They take a while to get through wizard towers, expo, stuff like that. So don't give it up that easily to the Chaos Squad. If this base was designed a little differently, the heroes being on the outside would have been more excusable. But the problem was... Uh, there was a lot of value being given up here, as well as one other critical thing, and that's the pathing. Town Hall in the center, or not Town Hall, CC, there's a nice kind of ring for the hogs to go around. Yes, it's a little bit wide, but there's 40 hogs going into the base. So it's 
is not wide enough to make it hard for hogs to go through here. He's able to spread them out very nicely, uses the queen's ability there, take out the inferno. Um, the combination of pretty solid pathing, a nice ring around the base for four heal spells, as well as not having a whole lot of high HP, mostly the air defenses, which are kind of medium HP, cannons, archer towers, uh, and only like a, a, a handful of expos and wizard towers. And I know you're thinking, oh, there's the giant bombs, the spring traps, the skellies. That's not enough on its own um, to, to take out this many hogs. And that's what you're going to face if you put both your heroes on one side. So you got to not only have the traps, but also the pathing, the buildings themselves. Got to make it a little harder, because look at how many hogs are left up at the end here. Um, but a nice base identification here by the attacker, Kazarek Flynn. Um, just so many hogs left up. It looks like an entire hog attack right there with all the hogs. A regular hog attack that doesn't have like 40 hogs. Um, okay, moving along, we have two more. I'm going to focus, I guess, a little bit more on tens this video, just by virtue of which what the breakdown of the war was. Um, this is another Electron uh, thing here. It would almost be better if, well, if the Town Hall was on the other side. It wouldn't be great either way, but once again, no sweeper really to help push it back. Uh, no air defenses. Is there a Seeking Air Mine? I don't think so. Uh, granted, the CC is um, a, a tough CC for, for air troops, but uh, that's really not going to be enough to, to just have a dragon, baby dragon in the CC. Because you'll see everything pops out, the clones down, the e drag's going to just destroy the queen here, as well as, I, I think, get the CC relatively low, uh, the heroes will finish it off, and then these balloons are, you know, taking out a bunch of stuff which is just making the pathing a little too easy for the Lalo around this base. I mean, there's buildings that are gone down here somehow. Like, I don't even know how that happens, but I guess it's the Electro Dragon just getting the, the bounce of a level, what, three Electro Dragon bouncing like five buildings. So that will happen. Do not take chances. I would say almost no matter what your base looks like, even if there's not the most value opposite the Town Hall, put a Seeking Air Mine or two over there um, that can't be easily triggered by like a test balloon and it's, it's just worth it. I mean, they're not doing a ton for you on Lalo attacks. They're not, I mean, they kind of hit, hit the Lava Hounds, it makes them weaker. But really, w where the attack is won or lost is often in that uh, Electro Dragon action and that was a big L for this base builder. Um, so anyway, it's a, kind of an awkward Laloon at this point and there's not a lot of spells left, That that is true. but. There's so many balloons that they just overwhelm. There's like a Lava Hound kind of awkwardly tanking for the Queen here, which is weird. But um, yeah, this base is finished. Good job with the heroes, kind of substituting them in for some of those air defenses at the bottom there. Um, good value and nice attack there. So one more, and then we'll wrap up this video, land this plane. Um, number 21. Uh, what was this? Yeah, this one is... I can see the idea here. I saw what the defender was going for, and to some extent it, it might have worked, but generally speaking, this is another kind of sin, especially of Town Hall 10 base building, where hogs are probably the most valuable of any Town Hall level ab above Town Hall 9. Um, both heroes opposite the Town Hall, it's making that wall record push with the kill squad a little too nice here. and. Admittedly, okay, I'll, I'll give him this. The pathing was kind of weird going in. But the thing you have to remember with the wall wrecker, and by the way, great ability there. The queen was just going to spend the rest of her time on the lava hound. Uses it on the inferno tower to get the inferno off the uh, wall wrecker. That was pretty important. Um, but even if the funnel is difficult, there's, not, there's no excuse for giving up both heroes and a lot of value to a wall wrecker push. Because it's just gonna cripple your base too much. And the wall record doesn't have to be funneled in. That's one thing I've stressed before. All you have to do is tank for your wall record. You don't have to funnel it because it goes in a straight line. You know where it's gonna go. It's just a matter of how far will it get. In this case, it gets very far with two golems, the heroes, um, that push is incredible, rage and heal, and then boom, suddenly like part of this base just disappears from the uh, the bowlers hopping out. Um, now, what I was saying with the, what the defender's doing here is they're putting all the spring traps on kind of the left side of the base. 
a lot of giant bombs. It's a very nasty thing to hog, but there's only about uh, a third of the base left, and there's like a ton of hogs. So the traps, as I've said before, are not enough. You gotta have a lot of defenses, a lot of high HP defenses. Um, you gotta have some very awkward pathing, path and the pathing path isn't great, but it's still kind of what you look for in a hog attack. So regardless of like how many hogs get hit by springs here, it's pretty incredible. Uh, there was pretty much a heal left to swag at the end if you wanted to. So do not give up the, you know, we saw a few attacks back. I think the first Town Hall 10 attack, a very nice uh, attack with 40 hogs where you're giving up both heroes for like a very small kill squad. But don't give up the big kill squad hog attack either. Just both heroes plus like some good defenses and some good pathing carved out that shouldn't be an option for the attacker so don't give them the easy hog stuff um at town hall 10 don't give them the electron value uh, especially at town hall 11 that's where we see it the most perhaps and then at town hall 12 <laughs> that that one attack just protect your town hall um and that'll go a long way so anyway hope this video was helpful thanks for watching guys um Look forward to, uh, to putting some more content out soon, and I'll see you later. Bisectatron out.